Hello everyone, this is me, Maimun Nahar Nuha, and welcome to our live session. Today I will be talking about some vocabularies that we can use while talking about technology. As you all know, the um, Bangladesh Puri or if we talk about the abroad countries, majority are dependent on technology. So if um, we have to talk about technology-based stuff, then we should be aware of some well-used, some common technologies, uh, sorry, some vocabularies that can be used when talking about technology. So I'm going to have a session live hobby regarding some basic words that you can use to improvise your uh, word bank or your word knowledges. Okay. So first of all, we'll start with a very common or basic word, which is to be computer literate. So what do we understand by the term to be computer literate? To be computer literate uh, means someone who is able to use computer properly. Mane hoche she computer e khubi dokho ba computer based knowledge tar khubi bhalo. Okay, Jamon, for instance, we can say as this world is now a tech based place, you cannot get a decent job without being computer literate. Tamani ki apne computer e jui dokho na ho, apne kono bhalo job paabin na. Then we can say, uh, then we can say, J, being a computer literate is a must for the new generation as jobs depend on computer a lot or computer based skills a lot. Which is silver surfer. Silver surfer maniki, it means an old age person who uses computer a lot or who spends a lot of time using or surfing the internet. Okay. So, um, example did you explain Kuri? We can say, since the lockdown, my grandfather has become a silver surfer. And grandfather maniki is someone who is very aged. So, what do we understand by the term silver surfer? He's an aged person and he spends a lot of time using mobile phone or surfing the internet. So, this is how we use the term silver surfer. Tarpore, I mean, I the word like the vocabulary to introduce for the chai, Shitahuche, to become obsolete. To become obsolete, Maniki, uh, when we invent something new or a new invention is done, the older inventions or the technology that was used in the past, we kind of um, forget those or we kind of stop using those. So that is uh, what become uh, that is what means to become obsolete for instance we can say after in the, after the invention of um, email fax has become obsolete tamaniki amader email abishkar hor por theke fax jinshta bilupto hoye geche almost to become obsolete mane onekta kom usage hoye jawa ba hocche bilupto pray jeta amra boli in terms like in sohoj bangla Tarpore ekta khubi basic common word shekhon theke introduce kore dei jeta amra almost day to day protidin day to day life e use kore thaki which is e-commerce e-commerce mane ki that uh, e-commerce mane hocche online e products kroy bikroy korar to sell or buy products online or to sell or buy products using the internet eta hocche e-commerce so e-commerce ekta sentence me kibhabe build korte pari e-commerce e ekta khub easy sentence me kibhabe build korte pari je uh, nowadays bangladeshi people um, depend on e-commerce sectors a lot for uh, their day-to-day -day shopping or something like that or multinational companies depend on e-commerce a lot to promote their brands I'm like I'm going to say this I use a term it's kind of a negative term it's a negative term but in actual it's a positive way which is to go viral to go viral mache kono kichu khub beshi popular hoye jawa like some if something becomes a lot popular on the, on the internet we can say that it has gone viral okay jemon amra bolte pari ekta khub recent ek example dei ami jesha bole jemon recent the celebrity wedding that happened siddharth malhotra and kiara advani's we can say that siddharth malhotra and kiara advani's wedding videos or their wedding photos went viral popular but nowadays the term to go viral is a negative term if something is um what spread it in a wrong manner or if uh, information spreads across the internet in a wrong manner in a negative way then we, we say that it went viral okay the next term i'll be teaching you guys is online scams what is the term what is the meaning of online scams to get cheated online okay 
for instance we can say that um, I got scammed online um, by that clothing page I got scammed on the online page it means to get cheated on like online or to you know um, get trapped by some dishonest people it is an online scam then we can uh, use another term which is driverless vehicles so what is a driverless vehicle a driverless vehicle is basically a kind of vehicle it can be a truck it can be a bus it can be a car which does not require a driver to drive it basically j vehicle gula but j janvahan gula chalan or jonna but operate quite you don't need a driver you don't need someone skilled that these are those are called uh, driverless vehicles for instance we can say that um the developed nations are now dependent on driverless vehicles a lot so uh, this is another term which you can use to uh, describe the modern technologies. Tarpore, we can use another term which is labor saving appliances. What are appliances? Appliances are basically um, what the um, gadgets you can say for an easier term. In an easier manner, you can say gadgets or we can say um, the instruments. So labor saving uh, appliances means those appliances or those products or those um, gadgets that makes your day to day, li day to day life easier or that helps you to finish your work properly without you uh, putting in too much physical labor, uh, which makes your day to life easier or which helps you to get done with the job in like less time. So these are called labor saving appliances. For example, you can say washing machine is a labor saving appliance. Keep uh, having like kapur um, in actual, it takes in a lot of effort, a lot of physical labor. But when you put it in a, a washing machine, it does not take that long time or it does not cost you that much physical labor. So it gets easier for you to operate the machine as well as you, while wash, the clothes are getting washed, you can utilize the time doing something productive. So in that ma manner, this is a labor saving appliance. Okay, so then I will introduce you guys with another term, which is digital re revolution. It means what digital revolution means the advancement of technology. As we all know that today's world, the modern world is a tech dependent or technology dependent place. So if like you are able to get all the facilities the facilities of modern world it's because of the digital revolution or the advancement of technology so what does digital revolution mean digital revolution means the advancement of technology or the um, improvement of it okay so for instance if we have to uh, use it in a sentence how we can use it we can say the, di the digital revolution has made the day-to-day -day life of the general people really easy. digital revolution ba advancement ba So if I then I like the last term use introduce Koreadi, leading edge technology. What do we understand by leading edge technology? Leading edge technology means the most advanced technology. Mani J technology ta ekhon shopche beshi usage achhe, but J ta hotche ekhon shopche beshi um, trending achhe. Ami jodi ke bolte pari in our modern terms, trending achhe ba hotche shopche beshi popular achhe. Uh, Jamun ita hotche hamra like in the English me explain korte hai leading edge technology ki ta hole I am bolbo J the most advanced technology of now or the most advanced position of technology. German and both the party, the mobile phone is holding the leading edge technology now. Or the mobile the mobile phone is now the leading edge technology. Maniki mobile phone tech on chop che trending as mobile phone and chopje popular technology. So this is how we can say J Kon uh, technology, but kon device, but kon product tech on chopje bishi advanced as well as trending as well. So this is how we can use some basic terms. I hope this video was useful for you guys as um, I was speaking well in my day to day life. Well then, uh, we always have to use some um, terms to describe technology as modern. I mean, I'm across the community and we sometimes have to use um, 
some terms to describe a technology or some digital product or something. So Tophun, we can use these terms to you know show how like good we are or how capable we are to speak in English. This this uh, terms will definitely help you guys and keep practicing this. And thank you so much for joining the live. Assalamualaikum.